The sobering reality is this. 2018 has been the deadliest year in the last 10 years on Kern County roadways. It's a trend that is continuing upward. Um, but this year in particular, we've seen a, a great increase in, in vehicular homicides. The entire pickup truck came off of the frame. That's how violent this crash was. From children to families, this year has been tragic for a record-setting number of victims of DUI-related crashes. Jim Simpson has been with the district attorney's office for 13 years. He's prosecuted a lot of DUI cases. You know, I can tell you that we prosecute far more DUI you know, offenses than any other uh, offense. Try 11 a day and about 4,000 a year. The worst part is that of those 4,000 DUI drivers who were caught, 33 of them weren't caught in time. And far too many people are willing to let um, their friend get uh, in, in the car and drive while intoxicated. And four of the 33 fatal DUI collisions this year were caused by repeat offenders. Drivers who'd been caught driving under the influence before, except this time, someone died because of it. People should fear driving around on our streets. Repeat offenders like Michael Ingram, who had three DUIs when he killed Carla Pearson's son in 2002. How do you get over something that was 100% preventable? How do you get over? How do you get over that? I don't know. Even with all the alternatives to drunk driving, our numbers locally aren't falling. They're actually rising. And as a driver or a passenger, the consequences should scare you. Because in 2018 Kern County, you're 38% more likely to get killed by a drunk or high driver than you were this time last year. Or the chances are far more likely that you die, uh, you know, in a motor vehicle uh, collision uh, where, uh, you know, drugs and alcohol were involved in it in any other manner. An average of one vehicular homicide every nine and a half days means we should expect for it to happen five more times by the end of the year. And if the average serves as an indicator, it means we'll be reporting another deadly crash where drugs or alcohol are involved by tomorrow. If there was one thing that I would want uh, people in this community to know is that they have extraordinary power to make a difference uh, and extraordinary power to, to change things for the better. If someone you know is under the influence of drugs or alcohol and wanting to drive, say something. Call an Uber or Lyft for someone. If you suspect someone is driving or planning to drive while intoxicated, call the police. And if you need more resources, you can reach out to our local Mothers Against Drunk Driving chapter for help from people like Carla Pearson, who knows this crime all too well. Their number is there on your screen, 493-8200. You can also email them at kerncounty.ca at mad, M-A-D-D, dot org.